Lake Bacall by Bailey, Heather, and Ryan. Lake Bacall is the deepest lake in the world with a maximum depth of 1,632 meters, located in the south of the Russian region of Siberia. Lake Bacall was formed as an ancient rift valley having a typical long crescent shape. The dimensions of Lake Bacall are 636 kilometers long and 79 kilometers wide. It is the deepest lake in the world, being 5,387 feet deep, and it is also the world's largest volume of fresh water, having one-fifth of all the fresh water in the world. There are 27 islands in Lake Bacall, most of them being uninhabited. Lake Bacall's coastline measures 2,100 kilometers, which is around 1,300 miles. There are more than 300 streams and rivers that flow into Lake Bacall, but there is just only one outlet, the Ingara. The bottom of the lake is 1,186.5 meters below sea level, but below this lie some 7 kilometers of sediment placing the rift floor 8 to 11 kilometers below the surface, the deepest continental rift on the earth. Its age is estimated at 25 to 30 million years old, making it one of the most ancient lakes in geological history. It is unique among large high latitude lakes and that its sediments have been not been scoured by overrun, overriding continental ice sheets. The lake is completely surrounded by mountains. The major geologic feature of Lake Bacall territory is that it incorporates the borderline of the great tectonic structures, the Siberian platform and its framing, and the Cyanobacalaski folded belt. Tectonic movements along this border never cease and are manifested by earthquakes and by fluctuation of separate parts of the shores. Lake Bacall contains thousands of species of flora and fauna. Together with the surrounding mountain systems, the lake's hollow mark is one of the most important natural borders of Siberia. This is where the borders of different flora and fauna complexes come together. This place has biosenses that cannot be found anywhere else in the world. The Bacall Hollow has always been isolated from the outer world. That is how it became home to one of the richest and most unusual fresh water fauna in the world, which is of extreme importance for evolution studies. Of the 2,630 plant and animal species and subspecies that have been discovered in the lake to date, about 80% cannot be found anywhere else in the world. It is almost impossible to find anyone who has not heard of the Omel or Bacal sturgeon two viviparous fish species endemic for Lake Bacall, the great and small Goloyanka fish, are well known among the world's fish. A typically marine mammal, Nerpa, or the Bacall seal, crowns the Bacall ecosystem. Common trees that surround the lake are the larch, Siberian pine, spruce, birch, and fir. The Bacall seal was believed to be a relative of the Arctic ring seal and is of the smallest of true seals. It remains a mystery of how seal originally came to Lake Bacall, which is hundreds of kilometers away from any ocean. Some scientists speculate that the seal came when a sea passage linked the lake with an Arctic ocean years ago. There are estimated over 60,000 seals. The paper and pulp mill at Bacall has polluted the surrounding regions and threatens the pristine conditions that have existed for centuries. The paper mill produces bleach cellulose that is used in the clothing manufacture. The process, however, reduces chemical and effluent that threatens and more than 1,500 species unique to the lake. The success of Lake Bacall has been viewed as critical to other environmental efforts throughout the world. Plans for the paper mill in Bacall began in 1954. This pollution affects the bottom dwellers of the lake as well. For Lake Bacall's water are thoroughly mixed with oxygen found even at the lowest depth. In addition, the Angara carries some of the pollution westward. Bacall releases chlorinated organics from the waste chemicals involved in pulp bleaching. These are particular concerns since they take centuries to biodegrade. Air pollution surrounding Bacall is the worst in Bacall region. 
The larch and pine forests in the area also exhibit degradation effects from the pollution. Furthermore, disabilities of the populations are rising, a result of the pollution. DDT levels are higher here. Many other chemical levels show similarities to the U.S. Great Lakes. This is partic particularly worrisome as the food web for the Lake Bacall closely mirrors that of the Great Lakes. While Bacall supports 1,500 and more endemic species, however, Lake Superior, by contrast, only has four. This may be a result of age, however, while Lake Bacall is roughly 30 million years old, Lake Superior is only 10,000 years old. Pollution is also occurs from the Salinga River. This tributary is the main inlet of Bacal, contributing almost one half of Bacal's water inflow. Sediment and, and waste from the large Mongolian cities, as well as human and industrial waste, are carried by the Salinga. Thus far, the most noticeable effect has been decreased spawning rates for the amul and em epidemic fish. The coal burning plants in Sarilinka furthermore contributes to acid rain, which in turn further pollution in the lake. In April 1987, the Soviet government issued a decree to protect the Lake Bacall. Evidence of rapid climate change in the Bacall region is now abundant. Annual air temperatures increased 1.2 degrees Celsius over the last century, twice the global average, with winter temperatures increasing more than those in the summer. Furthermore, the surface waters of Lake Bacall warmed rapidly and significantly to a depth of 25 meters during the last 60 years. In addition, the ice-free season lengthened 18 days from 1869 to 2000, and ice thickness decreased 12 centimeters between 1949 and 2000. We've just covered the chemical, biological, and physical characteristics of Lake Bacall. Thanks for listening!